Texas homeowners are now reaping the benefits of property tax cuts after the November election. Fox 34's Hannah Hoover explains how much you might save in the coming year. The median price of a home in McLennan County is $170,000. Homeowners falling into this category paid roughly $700 less in property taxes in 2023. It should have went out in the October tax bill. And so had the bill not passed uh, the election, then Randy Riggs' office would have sent out a corrected tax bill asking for the difference. For the homestead exemption, it is all about dollar amount rather than a percentage. It's $100,000 off of the taxable value. And so if you have a million dollar value, uh, appraised value, then you get $100,000 off. So it's less of an impact if, you, if you're a millionaire and have a huge house. The property tax cuts come from school tax exemptions increased from $40,000 to $100,000, and the loss will be made up to schools by state funds. Because, you know, the, the school tax rate had gotten so high, uh, historically, uh, 10, 20 years ago, it was more of a 50-50 share between local property taxes and the state, and it slowly got shifted where a majority, of like 60% or more, was coming from local, and, and less and less of the funds were coming from the state. And so the state has tried to push that back uh, to even back out. Most districts across the state and tax offices have implemented the change. However, Joe Bobbitt expects some minor adjustments to be made in 2024. Property taxes in general are, are the primary source that the state of Texas uses to fund local governments. And so my office, the appraisal district, is the only office in the county that's allowed to appraise for tax purposes. Hannah Hoover, Fox 44 News.